Do you boys want to try something? You want to make a film? You can tell me the story from the beginning and I'll film it. Tá bom, tá bom. Sim. Yes. Let's go. Okay, let's go. Trash is about three kids from a trash dump in Rio. They find this wallet and decide to keep it and to find out what the what is inside the wallet and what it means. So in that sense, it's an adventure film. Next to the dump is a Catholic mission run by Martin Sheen. And Rooney Meyer plays a young woman who is helping out. What is it? Revelations. It's a story of corruption and it's a story of poverty. And Martin really helped to get the story of the kids out to the world. It could be very dangerous. For who? Uh, for the boys, for you, for all of us. I got a call from my agent asking if I had read this book called Trash. I had not. So I got the book and read it instantly. And I fell in love with the possibility of being in the movie. And when I got the part, I felt it was too good to be true. And I still feel that way. The script was so fantastic and I really wanted to be a part of it. I thought it would be an incredible experience to get to work with the boys and to learn more about this world. We cast them as great actors and we're overjoyed that they both agreed to be in the film. But there's a series of coincidences here about Martin Sheen's own background in working in the Philippines on Smoky Mountain, a landfill site there, in terms of his charitable work there over a nearly a decade, and Rooney Mara with her work in, in Africa. So they both came with a huge amount of experience and knowledge, and that was vital to us. Um, and I think they both give extraordinary performances. He needs a drink. Menino, where did you come from? He needs a drink. He needs a drink? Yeah. Yeah, he does. I think she's just a young, hopeful girl who's come here to try and make a difference in their lives. And I certainly was able to bring things from my own experiences abroad and my, my own experiences volunteering um, to the character. Can you hear me? You know, at my age and at this time in my career, these parts are very, very rare. You know, you don't get a whole lot of screen time in, in an important movie. This is an important movie. To be a part of a movie that is very entertaining and touching and sweet and funny, but at the same time that is sort of shedding light on, on a real life issue, to me that's the best kind of movie. My motivation to accept this project was threefold. It was the best part I've been offered in years. It is working with one of the best directors in the world, in Stephen Daltrey. And it is working with one of the most charming actresses in the business today in Rooney Mara. So, hey, three out of three ain't bad. Through all of that, why did they stick with it? They said because it was right. Hey, what's up everyone? Lisa here with some interesting movie facts from Pixar movies. Now, Pixar have produced a total of 13 feature films, and all of them include a number of traditions. Whether or not the film is set in medieval Scotland or a world where cars talk, they always insert them somewhere. So here's a breakdown of all of them. John Ratzenberger has a voice role in every Pixar film, notably Han in Toy Story films. The Pizza Planet truck, notably from Toy Story, appears in every Pixar apart from Brave. The number A133 is the classroom number of Pixar animators alumni from California Institute of Arts. It first appeared in Toy Story as the number plate of Andy's mum's car and has featured ever since in various ways, even as Roman numerals in Brave. For more movie news and facts, keep it tuned to our channel and I'll see you next time.